and welcome to Inside Ally Sports. Makua Rothman has been surfing big waves since he was just a kid. And in 2002, he put the world on notice with a win at the Billabong XXL Big Wave Challenge. He surfed a 66-foot wave, the largest wave surf that winter. But Rothman isn't only a fearless big wave surfer, he's also a talented musician. And we have him here in studio. I'm Pat Parnell, and today we're taking you Inside Surf. Makua, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for I'm having me. I'm glad you brought the oop because uh, I guess you promised that you're going to be doing a little music for us yep, later. Yep, 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 right. definitely. We're going we're gonna to get into the whole music thing uh, on top of the surfing, but let's let's start off with surfing because I can still see there's a little froth in your <laughs> eyes fresh off this swell from Tavarua. Yeah, t tell us about this insane swell that you experienced. Well, uh, yeah, you, as you folks seen, it was probably one of the best paddling sessions ever anybody's ever seen. Yeah. Um, some of the most perfect, longest waves I've ever seen, definitely. I mean, I've, see, I've seen waves peel from a thousand yards all the way till they were this big, and they started at 20 foot, barreling all the way. So, you know, just being out there with some of my best friends, you know, sharing the stoke with everybody. And it was just such a good, fun envi environment. Everybody was, you know, patting each other on yeah. the back, because, I mean, some waves a lot of people didn't even want. So. Definitely a, a memorable experience to be there with so many great surfers at, in such a, you know, perfect time. Yeah. Growing up in Hawaii, uh, what was it like for you? Were you, I mean, kind of baptized in the barrel? Or like, you yeah, know, how, how young were you when you even got thrown on the board? Because it, it seems like it's a rite of passage. It's like it has to happen for any Hawaiian. I was, you know, on the boogie board, you know, at two years old out at Sunset Point. You know, my dad would tell me, hey, this is what it feels like to be in the barrel. We're in the barrel now. And, <laughs> Where I come from is just a beautiful place and we just want to share the Aloha vibe and the Aloha spirit with everybody yeah. that comes there and, and we just want to see a smile on their face. You know? Sure. <laughs> what about the music thing? Where did the love of music and what were the initial beginnings for you? Was it was it first the ukulele or were there, was there training wheels? Did you... I think the first instrument I did play was the drums. And I wasn't very good, so they threw those out. Okay. And uh, <laughs> they're like, "Wow, this yeah. is actually not good at something. That's, that's amazing." <laughs> so I got the ukulele, and I mean, I just always love playing music. It's just, you know, part of my culture. Coming yeah. from coming from Hawaii, there's, you know, every it's all about song, dance, music, family, and it was just kind of like a barbecue thing. And I'm just very happy to be able to travel the world and surf and play music. I mean. I don't think I can ask for too much more than that. What, what's next then for the music? I mean, it sounds like you have a lot of people backing you and they, they realize you have the pipes and you have the skills on the uh, well, I mean, what's, are you gonna do, do some more collabs or what's in the future um, for you? I'm just, you know, really trying to focus on writing a lot of songs and putting out an EP. I'm gonna put um, some songs attached to my signature board shorts so they can, right. when they get my board short, they go back to Ruka. Dot yeah. com and you know get the free downloads and all that stuff and for the good people that don't know what Maliola is tell, tell us about the, the foundation and what, what what type of great things they're doing for cystic fibrosis yeah well we uh, created a, a foundation for kids with you know lung disorders I've suffered from chronic asthma my whole life I mean I wasn't supposed to be alive a few times you know my lungs collapsed and I know how it is to not be able to breathe and feel like you're breathing through a straw so you know, I was really fortunate and I had the opportunity to help these kids with uh, lung diseases as well. Anybody is welcome to go to uh, mauliola.org and check out our, our tour dates and come and bring your children regardless of what misfortune they might have. Sure. Please come and enjoy yourself. All right, we've waited long enough. Uh, I think it's time for a little music, right? Yep. Tell yep. us what we're going to be uh, hearing here. Um, I just wrote a song while I was traveling and I was mm. thinking about some, some things and you know, you go around the world and see so many beautiful girls when you're traveling, so I figure I write a song about it, you know? The dream life of McCool Rock, and here we go. So, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna name it I Travel, but it uh, goes a little bit like this, it goes. Cause I traveled around this world Trying to find the world's most beautiful girl as I sit by the waterside, staring into your most beautiful eyes, cause baby you know I need you so, and I never let you go, so baby, I walk the highest mountains and I sail the deep blue sea. So I 
back and have you, girl, yes, alongside me. Whatever I say, hey, and whatever I do, I can't stop falling in love with you. There ain't no mountains too high. Without you, girl, brings those tears to my eyes Cause I don't wanna cry, I don't wanna wait in vain Cause your love has got me tripping and going insane So ease the pain, and just come my way Promise you I've got a place to stay, yeah Mucho mahalo. <laughs> you know the Four Springs proud. No problem. <laughs> Makur Rothman, everybody. That is it for another episode of Inside Alley Sports. Join the conversation. Follow us on Twitter for Inside Alley Sports. I'm Pat Barnell. Thanks for watching. All right. Give me this thing. Let me see if I can. I think I got a little bit here. Uh... <laughs>